So this is a Yamaha engine. This has a generator on it, obviously. <laughs> so basically there are your coils, your stator coils. And that's your flywheel. And it's got magnet magnets inside of it. So that when it rotates, the magnetic field rotates with it. So to create electricity, you need to have a rotating magnetic field that's cutting across coils or the coils cutting across the magnetic field. So that movement creates or induces electricity in the copper coils. And that's basically how it works, just a magnetic field with the copper conductors cutting that magnetic field induces current within the windings. Obviously this it's AC current and that's regulated and rectified to 14 volts DC via the regulator that's on your bike. So that is it really, just that rotates creating electricity in the coils which is then sent to your regulator rectifier to change it from AC to DC and to hold it down to 14 volts so that it charges your 12 volt battery. This one is a three phase generator. It's got three wires on it. It's got three wires on it for each of the phases. Set your meter to resistance and check all three. Th this connects is a bit worn, that was 0.9. That's 0.4. 0.5. Sorry, 1.2, 1.4 and 0.9. So they're a little bit out, but I'd say it's just to do with that connector being worn. Really, this should be equal readings. I'll try them from the back. So that's 0 0.9. 0 0.4. 0 0.5. And 0 0.67. So yeah. Pretty much equal all of them. And then you've got your pickup coil, you can test that for resistance as well. If you can get a reading. Probably over limit actually. So I've got to get a reading off the pickup core, so it might be damaged. I'll just test it here, actually. So 265 ohms. So looks pretty good. So that's a three-phase sort of generated one. I have got another one here. This is just two phases. You've got two wires coming off it. So obviously you test between the both yellows on this one. And this one's got a, uh, if you look at it, all the coils are similar, except for that one. And that one generates the power for your spark. So on this type of bike, if this fails, your bike won't start. On this one, it will. As long as your pickup coil works, it should still run. But on this one, it needs that to generate the electricity for the spark. So that's it, really.